A post-false couple is under arrest. And a grieving mother is speaking out. Samantha Moore says it's a good start to justice for her daughter, the foster couple for Karina Moore, the two-year-old who died in 2009, made their first appearance in court today. And now more details are coming out. Police believe that more than one child was abused when under the care of Jeremy and Amber Clark. KXOI 4's Anusha Roy has been following the story all day, and in an interview you'll see only on KXOI, she talked with Karina's mother, Anusha. Well, Mike and Nadine, we just found out about 15 minutes ago that the Clarks were actually are now out of jail. They did make bond at some point this afternoon. And in talking to the Post Falls police during the day as well, they were saying as they were investigating Karina Moore's death, they found evidence of more crime. Now they believe that a second child was abused under the Clarks' care. I was really happy that Karina is getting the justice that she deserves. Today, Karina Moore would be five years old and in kindergarten. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm hurt. Instead, her biological mom, Samantha Moore, is in court watching the two people that allegedly had a hand in her daughter's death. Continuing to wonder what she'd be like and first grade's going to come and second grade. And Amber and Jeremy Clark were Karina's foster parents. The little girl was under their care when she died in 2009. They are now facing charges of conspiracy to conceal evidence, two counts of felony injury to a child and perjury. At the time of Karina's death, her foster family said she fell down a short flight of stairs in their Post Falls home, calling it a tragic accident. An autopsy showed the toddler died due to a blunt force head injury. Her death was ruled a homicide several weeks later. In the process of the investigation, the Post Falls police say they found evidence of more abuse, explaining the multiple injury to child charges. The police believe a second foster child who was under the Clark's care was abused between 2007 and 2008, before Karina Moore. It's an arrest that has sent waves of tears for the little girl's biological mother, who now plans on being in court every time she can. As far as closure, no, it just opens up a new chapter. Both the police and the prosecutor say that this case was very complex, which is why it took so long to get to this point. As for that second abuse case of the other little boy, we are told that he'd now be around eight years old and is doing fine in the North Idaho area. Live in Coeur d'Alene, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.